Well, good day, tubes. How's she going? So, pretty good here. The other day, now let me think what it was. It must have been last Thursday, the 24th, day before Christmas, because there was no mail delivery, of course, on the 25th, or I don't believe Boxing Day. Um, but anyways, I looked in the mailbox, and holy freaking crap, the whole entire mailbox was full of mail for Bill's T-Max. <laughs> I couldn't believe it, so I don't know if the, the mail guys were stocking up or something, or maybe just the timing of you guys sending all your mail, and it came all at once, so I'm like, holy cow. So anyways, we got a, a good stack of mail here to look through, and um, one package, too, so we have to uh, get these open, and let's have a look. Okay, we're going to start with the package first. This is from Jasper and Emma. Jasper and Emma. Thanks, man, for sending this in. Look at this. I am going to have to try this on. <laughs> that is a really friggin' nice hat. And uh, it's so nice that I almost don't want to wear it. It's got a nice John Deere all embroidered into her. Oh, that is friggin' nice. But I will have to try it on. Um... I'll try it on when I do my closing thing. I'll put it on and, and we'll see how she looks. But, oh, that is awesome. Thank you so much. I really like the John Deere garb stuff. And the merchandise, of course, from John Deere. As you can see, I am wearing hoodie with... It's got a big John Deere logo on the back. I'm hard to show you that. But. Anyway, so from Jasper and Emma says, hi, Bills T-Max. My name is Jasper, Jasper, sorry, and I am from Southampton, UK. I think in my younger, younger kid days, I was there once. I have been to the UK uh, once for three weeks, I think we were over. We've got like, well, had like 350 relatives all throughout there. And uh, we kind of jumped between each one of them every couple of days, so it was kind of neat. We didn't see everybody, but we got to see quite a few of them. Uh, but anyways, my name is Jasper, and I'm from Southampton, UK. Uh, me and my partner, Emma, have been watching your videos for about a year or so, and we're big fans with a smiley guy face. Sweet. We run, this is a really cool letter too, by the way. We run a small trailer hire and repair workshop in Southampton. That is cool. I kind of wish you'd do some videos, but I didn't post them. I'd like to see some of the stuff you do. But anyways, let's get into this. Uh, about six months ago, we bought a John Deere 755 tractor, which is a, li a great little machine. Three-cylinder Yanmar engine. That's pretty cool. Yanmars are good. A little diesel. Um, sort of like my one, uh, in my, my little tractor. Um, but I think it's like 30, 32 horse, I think. So it's pretty close. Uh, so yeah, the Yanmar engine, I think it's 24 horse. We use it for all sorts of things, pulling boats out of the water on the boat ramp and moving trailers around the yard. That is freaking cool. Um, he's also got some pictures here, which is good. Uh, I have included some pictures. Oh, look at that. I have included some pictures of the tractor and some of the attachments that I made for it. That is awesome. One of which uh, is a small crane that we use for lifting trailer frames and outboard engines off boats. It's not uh, that big, but we we have had a 250 horse outboard engine, uh, Mercury engine, which weighs 600 pounds, um, which she handheld well, handled well. Sorry, um, we love our little tractor, and now, uh, like you, we love anything green, 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 green. Uh, yeah. Uh, anything green and yellow. Oh, yellow too. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, just a little to say hello that we love the way, uh, way of life out there. Keep up the good work, buddy. Jasper and Emma. Please. P.S. We also included a little Prezi for these cold winter mornings. Oh, thank you. Okay. So let's have a look at this little 755. So it looks like there he's pulling a boat. <laughs> That's like... Oh man, size of that machine to what you're what you're towing with it is just amazing, eh? But I bet you she handles her well. Looks like he's got a nice little winch on the front too and a little ball there. Oh man, that's awesome. That is awesome. There he is hooked on again. Probably the same guy it looks like. That's the other side. It's a nice looking little machine there. And there's one more picture. Mmm. Well, that's cool. It's on a three-point hitch. That's pretty sweet. Now, that is good. I like how you did that. I had um, 
actually my big green trailer I had just the drawbar thing on the back and it ended up wrecking the uh, uh, hitch on the trailer so that's why I changed it to what I've got now so um, yeah and there's the there's the winch oh that is cool or not the winch the the crane thing he built that is pretty freaking cool buddy it's all hydraulic lifts her up that is really neat good idea <laughs> there he is all folded up that looks just like like an engine crane or something pretty sweet good job on there and I will try on the hat for the end of today's closing and uh, we'll see how she fits that is sweet thank you okay the rest of these are mostly just cards and some letters and stuff so let's get the next one open here all right this is from Owen 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 oh boy I got blurted blurted anyways uh hello Bill's T-Max I seen your new mini excavator and I only live one and a half hours away from you near Hamilton oh that's not too far then I uh, watch every single video you put up on YouTube. You inspired me to get the F Farming Simulator 2015. Nice. On computer, even though I have it for my PS3. <laughs> I like your tractors, uh, the 110 TLB backhoe, and the John Deere 2032R. The winters are bad at my house, too. We sometimes can't go anywhere with all, this, with all the snow. Plus, uh, cars sometimes don't start in the minus 25. I hear you on that one. I wouldn't want to start either if it was that cold. Uh, minus 25 this time. Uh, he says, I am the same age as Dylan. Uh, I was going to say 21. Holy friggin' crap. Slow me down. 11. <laughs> you, should open up, you should open up a multiplayer game and farm sim one day. Please do my, not show my address on YouTube. I don't actually know where your address is. It might be on the envelope, maybe. Um, you should get out your quad one day again, if you still have it. I do still have it in my shed. I almost need it the other day for chasing off those freaking uh, ATV knobs back there. But anyways, um, Merry Christmas. Uh, you might want to get, uh, you might get this after Christmas. I actually know it was, it was here. I'm just a little late kind of doing them up. Um, or before, I don't know. Please put my letter in a vid and talk to you again sometime bye from Owen. thanks buddy okay our next one i do believe is posted from across the pond meaning the atlantic ocean <laughs> so let's get this let's get this one open i think i know who this is from too now that is one stuffed looking bird i don't know what kind that is but uh, oh boy he looks like he ate too much dinner <laughs> Anyway, season's greetings to Bill, Sarah, and Allie, and Dill. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Season's greetings, lots of love from Greg and family. Thanks, Greg. Uh, Dylan and Alora play a lot of games and stuff um, with Greg and stuff. So that's, uh, that's who Greg is. Thanks, Greg. Okay, the next one is... I'm not too sure where this one's from. Oh, another fellow Ontarian I see under my thumb here. I had to look. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, let's crack this one open. Oh, look, he's got... Oh, owls. I thought they were beavers. <gasps> Holy cow, we got a card, a picture, and a letter. That is freaking awesome. Okay, let's have a read here. Dear Bills T-Max. Hey, that's me. My name is Eric, and I have been watching your video since 2012. Oh, buddy, you've been at it a while. <laughs> and have loved every minute of it. I am just, I am from just outside Elmer, Ontario. Holy freaking crap, I could hit a golf ball and hit the guy's house from here probably. That is really close. Well, maybe not a golf ball, but you know, um, pretty close. Yeah, really close. Uh, Elmer, Ontario, and I'm 14 years old. Uh, he says, I tried to come up and visit you this past summer, but you were gone on vacation to Manitoulin Island. Oh, I must have had my feet up by the fire. Sorry, buddy. I uh, talked to the concrete guys. Concrete guys? What do you think of the concrete guys? They're pretty nice, eh? Um, and they said, uh, I wasn't the only YouTuber, YouTube visitor looking for you that day. Holy cow, I picked the wrong week to be away, I guess, eh? Oh, well, you gotta go away one of these weeks, you know, and, uh, we picked that one, I guess, the way we went. Uh, I work on a dairy farm, and we milk 110 Holstein cows in a free stall barn. Hmm. And I am also in the 4-H club, that's like, um, uh, an agricultural club for younger... I don't know what age it goes to, but 
uh, from, you know, young, young kids to probably 18 or maybe 19. I'm not too sure. I was never into that myself. Um, but anyways, they do all the farm stuff and, you know, teach you stuff. And it's kind of like scouts maybe or, you know, one of those things. Um, and, but, you know, here, four H and show Holstein calves. There you go. Uh, my YouTube new my YouTube username is I love cows dude. I love cows dude. There you go. And if you could check it out, it would be great. I will go and check that out. I was also wondering if you're going to be getting the steering wheel for Farm Simulator. I don't know. I've thought about it, but playing some of this. Um, Euro Truck 2 simulator. I think it might be more beneficial for that too. So I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I own a Farm All Super A. Look at that more in a sec here. Super A, which I sent a picture of with a letter. Oh, right there. Look. <laughs> um, this letter could be read on a video. That would be greatly appreciated. Have a nice day. Well, there you go, my friend. So, a Farm All Super A. Now, one time, a way long, long time ago, I think my stepfather had one of these for about a year. It was a good little tractor. Oh, I th I'm trying to remember now if this was the one that you kind of sit off to one side. I really don't remember, but it looks awful familiar. But anyways, yeah, there we go. It's a nice tractor. That is a nice tractor. Now, what do you use that for, buddy? Do you actually, you actually work them or just show them? Um, and he also sent us a little card, so season's greetings. Look at the snow. We don't have any. <laughs> uh, Bill, sending good wishes your way for the happiest of holidays. Merry Christmas from your biggest fan, Eric. Thanks, buddy. All right, this is from L-I-N-Y, New York, I suppose, USA. It says on the top here, Mid-Island, New York, on the stamper thingy. So, feels like another card. Let's crack her open. There we go. Merry Christmas and no snow. Ah. <laughs> look at the lights though. That's awesome. Those look like really super bright intense lights too and a nice lighthouse and everything. Well that makes sense. Lighthouse. <laughs> Anyways let's crack her open. Look at this. He sent me another dollar. I don't really know exactly how. Oh he put his name on it too. Sweet. I really don't know how I got myself into collecting dollar bills because I don't think I ever actually even really said anything about that in any video. Someone sent me one and I guess people have been sending me them ever since but you know that's neat. I don't uh, you don't see much of the US money up here you know and it's compared to our plastic crap now if you have ever seen our money. Let me grab one out here. It's, it's, everything's plastic. <laughs> No way. That's one hundred. So this is actually plastic. You can see right through it. It's like printed plastic. Same on the twenty. Same on the hundred. It's like wow, frickin' plastic. You cannot leave those in a hot car. It'll go <laughs> into a ball. <laughs> yeah, not so good. So look, we got another picture too. Oh, let's read here. Okay. Okay, it says, to Bill, this is a lighthouse at the end of our island. Oh, sweet. The end of our island. Here is a U.S. dollar for your collection. I don't really know how I, like I say, I got into collecting this because I don't think I ever mentioned it. But anyways, if you want to send me money, I like it. <laughs> Doesn't really matter, though, you know. You don't need to send me anything. Just a nice card is just all I need. Um, for your collection, to put this in, put this on your video, please. Video. <laughs> Uh, I watch all of them all the time. Uh, I live on Long Island, New York. That's what that stands for. L-I-N-Y. Long Island, New York. Um, fan Matthew. Sorry for the loss of your cat. Poor kitty. Here's a picture of a tractor. Um, tractor you like. That is, I don't know. A John Deere. Oh, man. It's an older one from the 60s, I think. Nice big one. There's something in behind, too. Look. Can't be in behind of something. Sweet. Thanks, buddy. All right, we are down to two. Now, this one I've had for a wee little bit. It's from the States. Um, but 
I was leaving it on my desk here until I got a couple more to do, and all of a sudden, boom, I had a whole stack of them to do here. So this is a heavy one, as you can tell here. So let's get open. Okay, this is from Dave, and he got extremely very innovative here, I'd say. And he did. Dear Bill. That is freaking good, buddy. <laughs> now, if I was into Kate or International, how would you have done that? International Bill? No, I guess that wouldn't work, would it? Very good, though, buddy. Dear Bill. Uh, it says, hi, buddy. My name is Dave Jackson. I live in PA, Pennsylvania. I think so. I'm sorry. I was not very good at geography. PA. I know it's in the States. Um, anyways, uh, and I love your YouTube channel. I was watching you post tonight, your post tonight, 120615, about buying new impellers for the leaf vac. Oh, they were freaking expensive. I freaking hate shopping at John Deere. Anyways, uh, I have an idea about fixing your old impeller. Ooh, okay. Let's see what you're thinking, bud. I don't know if I want to really touch that thing or not. But anyways, uh, I was thinking... If you had an old tire, you could cut the sidewall out and then cut the side into squares about three to four inches. Hmm. You could then take your old impeller on and on each blade drill two holes in each paddle. They're not very thick though. I don't know if you could drill a whole lot. Uh, then with the squares of rubbers with matching holes using small bolts washers and nuts making sure the balance is right attach rubber to the paddles the rubber should be barely should be barely touch the inner housing uh, or be very close this should be a fix that replace as the rubber wears out hopefully uh, this fix will work for you and save some money now I've already got those other impellers so and you know what I never actually changed that impeller I kept the same one going all year here so um, I just mostly kind of got them because they were wearing out and um, I asked the John Deere guy about him he's like um yeah we can still get them but if you want a couple you better get them now because they're not making them anymore that's discontinued I'm like oh great thanks and it's only five years old six years old something like that seven years old maybe um no where was I this should be a fix on the so hopefully it's a fix save you money on this thing right mean, now Another, uh, another note, keep, uh, now, on another note, thanks for keeping your posts clean and family orientated. <clears throat> I try to, you know, I know there's some out there <clears throat> that <clears throat> live in not too far from me here that think they're King John, and uh, I get disgusted whenever I hear anything about his videos. But anyways, I'm not mentioning names. Pretty sure most of you know who. Um, yeah. <laughs> Don't know how he's still able to post on YouTube, but anyways. Uh, family orientated. Uh, I've learned some things about fixing my own stuff and love to tinker on stuff in my garage uh, when I have time. My favorite thing is to to is when you're building stuff and using the deer to dig out beaver dams. <laughs> I cannot get down there yet because he's still got traps down there. Uh, you might think about building some small swamp mats. Ooh. So you can get down in the mini X. Uh, down into wet spots so you don't sink. Yeah, that would suck if that thing sunk. <laughs> I don't know how I would get it out. The only thing I could do is, you know, turn sideways, push down, lift myself up, stuff some wood under there, down, or the other side, lift up, stuff some wood under it, down, maybe drive out. I don't know. I don't know. It would be pretty friggin' scary. <laughs> That's why I sort of haven't gone down yet. But, um, but anyways. Uh, did you hear a wet spot so you don't sink? You should check out Let's Dig 18 on YouTube. <clears throat> he uses mats for his big excavator in swampy areas. Oh, interesting. It's something you could put together very easily. I'm going to have to look at that. <clears throat> that might be something, you know, worthwhile. Even maybe even a sheet of plywood down and drive over that. I don't know. Something. There's lots of sticks down there, we'll say, at the dam. You could just do... You know, lift lift yourself up thing, and then uh, uh, stick sticks underneath you. Uh, but anyways, um, these mats for his big excavator in swampy areas. It's something you could put together very easy. Uh, I will let you get back to your family. Thanks for taking time to read my letter, and I'll keep watching. Oh, holy cow! I'll keep watching. So keep up the good work. Your friend from through YouTube, Dave. He says, P.S. I'm sending you the world's best knife to cut the tire with. Enjoy. This thing is freaking absolutely extremely dangerous. I open it up. I'm like, holy crap. Watch this. 
This is freaking awesome, Dave. Thanks. I've never had one of these before. And it's a Gerber, too. It's a really good name. Okay. So. That thing is freaking extremely brutal. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, okay, um, I don't want to touch up here to close it. How the heck do I close this thing now? <laughs> and you actually got to push the little guy here and then, and then fold her back without cutting yourself. And that's super slim. And I do believe that blade, you could replace it. You take the screw out, put a new one in, and we go. Let's see how sharp this is. Sorry to cut your letter, buddy, here, but I'm just going to cut the corner off. That is so freaking amazingly sharp. I mean, look at that. We just cut, if I can pick it up. Cut pretty much a perfectly nice triangle there. Sorry for cutting your letter, buddy. I just wanted to demonstrate how sharp we were here. I would not doubt that I would have no problem cutting through a tire. Freaking awesome. Thanks, buddy. And I will put it to good use. Okay. I'm saving a fairly special one to the very last year. This is from some people that actually moved a little bit closer here to me. They lived in Montreal, and I was actually going to one time go and visit them, because they're so nice. Then I thought, wait a minute, they live in Montreal. I cannot stand driving in Montreal. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> and she knows exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but anyways, um, we got a letter here from these people live in uh, a bit closer to me now. It's about... Uh, I think it's still about a five hour drive from me or a four hour drive or something, you know, but um, that is pretty sweet. We got a really nice large, large card here, sorry. And she went ahead, Julia, I'm going to have to pick a bone with you because you went ahead and put a beaver stamp on here, didn't you? Oh, actually that beaver there. Compared to this one, that's about the size of the ones he's been yanking out of there. About 50 pounds out of our river here. Holy cow. But anyway, so let's crack her open. This is the last letter of the day. Okay, wishing you a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. Thank you. Lots of love. Ooh. Okay. She's even got like absolutely immaculate handwriting too. It's awesome. Okay, so dear Bill. Uh, we would like to wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And uh, we have been watching your videos for years. And I know she has because she quotes stuff. I'm like, holy cow, you actually watch that? I never miss a show. Uh, I consider myself to be your biggest fan. And I think my daughter, who is absolutely a doll. Oh, my goodness. Uh, my daughter might be your youngest fan, 18 months old. Holy cow, I think that is got to be the youngest. I would like to know actually who the oldest is that watches. Anyways, um, we learned so much from you and we enjoy all of your projects. I would like you to thank you for all your hard work to share it with all of us. We cannot wait to see, cannot wait to see what you will build in 2016. <clears throat> I have no idea yet what we're going to build. Uh, we wish you all well and hope you never give up tubing. Well... Unless I die of a heart attack or something, we'll keep on tubing as long as we can. But who knows? <laughs> you are gifted and talented and very entertaining. And it says here, may your holidays be filled with good fun, good friends, and jolly good memories and a case of beer. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> your friends, Julia and Mark. Very nice. Thank you. Now, that was a very nice letter. And yes, they do live a little bit closer to me. So I don't know. I might spring over one day. Maybe. Probably not in the wintertime, no, because winter driving sucks. And the way they live, yeah, maybe not too good this time of year. But anyways, look what I am wearing. Still got my tag on, but anyways. That is a freaking pretty nice hat. Thank you, Jasper and Emma, for that. That is freaking nice. Fits pretty good, too. It's nice and tight, so to keep your head nice and warm, it's not too loose and floppy and then wanting to kind of slip off all the time, right? Sometimes if you get them too loose, I find they kind of want to keep sliding off, but this one's good. Freaking nice. Thank you. But anyways, that is it for mail day today. I guess we call that a Sunday mail day, maybe. I don't know. I haven't really been doing, like, an official Sunday mail day, but that's, you know, mail day. A mail day. 
mail from the mail, I guess we'll say. <laughs> but anyways, thanks everybody for all your letters and stuff. It sure does mean a lot to me. I'm sorry I don't kind of get at them all right away. Um, but I kind of like to get a few in stock kind of thing and then go through them. Um, but um, yeah, I guess that's it. But anyways, thanks again for watching and we'll catch you when we catch you.